Now the drill I like to do with our players to train all of this and to get them into game-like conditions is just a series of block jumps. And here's how it works. We're going to have our players just do an up and down block, okay, on my command. So we'll be in a ready position and they're just going to go straight up and down as if the hitter were right in front of them. Okay, ready? Go. All right. Then we add, we may do that three times. And then we add a hop step. And we're going to go hop step uh, right. Okay, we're going to go hop step right and jump. But we're going to go up first. So up, down, hop step right and jump. Ready? Go. Up, hop step right, jump. Okay, back to base. Okay, now we're going to add a hop step left, but we continue the same jumps. So it's up, down, hop right, hop left, block three times. Block three times. Ready? Go. Up, hop right, up, hop left, up. Base. Okay, now we add that inside cross. So we go up, down, inside cross, or up, down, hop right, hop left, inside cross right, inside cross left. Okay, ready? Go. Up, hop right, hop left, inside right, inside left, base. Okay? Now we add the step crossover. Now we add step crossover. Okay, ready? Go. Up, hop right, hop left, inside right, inside left, step crossover right, Step crossover left, base. Okay? Now we add step crossover hop. Ready? Up, down, go. Up, hop right, up. Hop left, inside right, inside left. Step crossover, step crossover. Step crossover hop, step crossover hop. Base. Okay, good. Now what you notice is as they, the more jumps they do, the more they lose this. Well, we like, let's have Megan at the net. We want Megan to move with her hands above. We want her to move with her hands above her waist at all times. Okay, so let's make a, a, a hop, a, a step crossover hop to the right, Megan. So she'll do step crossover hop and watch those hands. Good, let's go again. Uh, yeah, you can jump. Okay, ready? Go. Step, crossover, hop. Good. Now, come on back to base. As you saw in the drill, and again, it's early in the drill, those hands start to drop as they move. That's a sign that your players aren't in quite the condition they need to be for those long rallies because they may have to jump five, six times in a rally uh, to play defense. So uh, it's a great conditioning drill. It's a great footwork drill. Uh, and the more in condition they get, the less they have to think about their footwork. And the less they think about their footwork, the more they can worry about uh, where is the hitter going to go, where am I going to force the hitter to go. They can start using this when this doesn't get tired. It's an important part of the whole deal.